Guys, I'm just going to do a quick little review of a Vera Bradley Grand Traveler that I have in Mocha Rouge. We just came back from an overnight trip. I went away with my husband overnight, and I did use this as my travel piece. I've also used this for a trip to Disney and packed myself and uh, one of my children in it for a two-week vacation. And then another one, of two of these, was my son and my husband for two weeks. Of course, it was about one, one week's worth of clothing that I just washed uh, for two people. So essentially, I could fit two weeks of clothing in the Grand Traveler if you pack it correctly. Okay, I got this one over the summer on one of the BOGO sales. I believe um, it was already in the clearance and there was an additional off. But I think I paid around $60 for this. Okay, really, really quickly. It's a quilted travel bag that does have a detachable um, straps so you can wear this on your shoulder or crossbody although it's very bulky when you put it on so I just usually take these off and use the rolled handle feature to carry them there is a pocket on the front it's a flat pocket that has two magnets there's a magnet here and a magnet here there's no magnet in the middle it has your decorative stripe down the front and you open this pocket and it runs from the left side of the bag when you're facing it, or the right side of the bag when you're facing it, to about three quarters of the way, and then it's stitched. So this is a very large slip pocket that goes down. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it goes down way above my wrist bone. And then you have an additional pocket. If I spread my fingers out, it's, that's going to give you the width, and that goes all the way down. Okay, so that's what's on the front of the bag. In the back, turn the bag around for you guys. <clears throat> there is a slip pocket here. And then this is where you would slip this. I'm going to stick my hand through. So my hand comes through the bottom. You would stick this on your rolling luggage. And this is where your ID window is as well. And then you have another pocket here. So there's two slip pockets and then this. Now, if I was to redesign the Grand Traveler, and I have heard other... Um, vloggers on YouTube saying this, I would put a zipper here because if you had a zipper here, it would give you the option of using this for an additional pocket or for that, um, you know, a, a ability to put that on your rolling luggage. I don't fly very often because we are a family of five and most of our trips are by car or by train and I don't tend to use carry-on rolling luggage. So this sort of thing here is a waste for me and I actually am contemplating putting in my own Velcro in here, but I hate to tamper with these pieces or take it to a seamstress and have them put a zipper in. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and open the Grand Traveler and you have your double pull zip with your Vera Bradley ribbon. <clears throat> and this comes down when you're zipping it to where these are. So I would say one third of the way because you have two thirds left here. So, you know, it would be nice if it zipped down a little bit more, but it zips down to here. Same thing on the other side when you're zipping it. And then it's very soft, and this has been washed, I think, three times. It has a removable cardboard base. And I'm going to reveal what is inside. I'm going to actually unpack with you guys. <clears throat> I did carry my hipster in Mocha Rouge, which I was purchased for a trip to Disney to match my luggage, but I did use it for a trip we took yesterday. I was wearing brown, and I did want to ma uh, match my travel piece. I hadn't really loved the hipster after I got out of Disney. I didn't feel that it was something I would use, but actually this fall and winter I've used it a tremendous amount and I really like it. Okay, I'm going to bring you back over here. Then I have a large cosmetic and I believe that this is in rosy posy. And up in here I just have a um, change purse and some pieces from a cosmetic trio and some toiletries. So that fit very nicely in there kind of dark because most of the things I brought were black. Okay, you have in the back, which it's very dark, and I don't know if you can see it, there's a slip pocket here, and these are divided in half. You probably can't see it, but it's divided in half. And in that pocket, I don't have anything, and in this pocket, I have a, a, <clears throat> a jewelry case. And once I unpack it, you'll probably be able to see it better. In this other pocket, I have the largest piece of a cosmetic trio in Baroque, and that has all my makeup. And then in the other slip pocket, there you can see that I have a pair of ballerina flats that I slid down 
into the pocket so they wouldn't touch my clothes and they come right out and they go fine they're filthy but they go good okay now i have a black poncho and i'm going to start putting this stuff <clears throat> on my chair so that you can see how much i actually fit in so that's what i've gotten so far i have a hairbrush and that was actually in one of the side pockets which fell out when i was carrying it up here uh, another black shirt okay and another shirt a pair of dress pants pajamas and some undergarments there's about three pieces in that roll two belts see that and then the outfit that i wore home today which i'm not going to show you because i'm already in my pajamas was in here so basically i just swapped out my traveling down for my traveling home i'm going to get you inside the bag now and get you in there as best i can okay so you see this is where your slip pockets are here and they're quilted and there's one here and then on the adjacent wall there's i'm going to take you out similarly the same two pockets and then you have your remo removable cardboard base this is a very heavy base and it's really simple to get this out and then i wash this and here's my little petite pouch that i carry with which I don't know why my earphones are out of there, but my earphones normally would be in here, my headphones and my charger. So that's everything that came down. <clears throat> and I had room to spare. I mean, that was like basically an overnight weekend um, amount of stuff. Let me get you back in the frame so you can see this. That was basically about a weekend's worth of stuff in the Grand Traveler. And really, I probably only went up to about here and had another third worth of space and... I didn't roll anything because I knew it was just an overnight. I had three outfits in there, which seems excessive, but we didn't know exactly where we were eating, so I wanted to have some things. So the Grand Traveler, to me, was a better purchase than, say, the Weekender because I could use this for longer trips. However, I will tell you, <clears throat> when you fill this to the max, it is extremely heavy and is best used with a valet, someone to, a porter, someone to carry your luggage for you. Uh, I have never been able to wear it on my shoulder as it's very heavy and it does, let me show you if I can show you the width. I mean, when this thing is full, it's wide. It, it, it's wider than your duffel. <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell that, but it's wider than your duffel. Maybe I'll do a comparison one day of the Grand Traveler versus the duffel. My daughter has the extra large duffel, which I don't think they make anymore. And that's an incredible piece. I mean, if you can find that on eBay, girls, snatch it up. The extra large duffel is great. Anyway, when I store the Grand Traveler, I put my other Grand Traveler and smush it down as much as I can. It kind of just folds right down. And then I put it inside of this Grand Traveler and the extra large duffel. And then it goes up on the shelf. So to me, if you're going to use, if you, if you don't want to own several travel pieces, and you want to have something that you can utilize to put more than just a weekend in, get the Grand Traveler. If you want to have more than one or several travel pieces, get the Grand Traveler and the Weekender. Um, but for me, this has worked out really, really well. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, they're running some great sales on the website. Check it out. Check out your different colors and different patterns. But for me, it's worked out really well. Have a good night, guys.